Charlies, you're watching Richable TV and welcome to my world. Now, if it seems like I'm moving my hands like a chicken, it's because this top um, I've all this top so obviously you know the type of my video I'm going to talk about my breast enlargement journey of how I've got these beauties here and obviously I wanted to share it with my Facebook family my YouTube family and my website family because I see you guys as family and I thank you so much for all your support and your love just for everything I do and you know everything I share on Richable on my social media it's always about personal development you know getting yourself motivated living the best life that you always wanted to live and just being you and doing you whichever way you feel and whichever way you want to do you and that's what and that really is what I'm all about because you know for gosh 14 no sorry for 18 years I was living a life that I didn't want to live. I was living my life according to other people's rules and regulations and all those kind of crazy things. I've talked about my journey before, that's not what this video is all about. And you know, now the way I think and the way I live is totally all about living your life according to you and doing you really, 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 really good because only you can live your life to the fullest and it's not about being a perfect person or living a perfect life there's no such thing as perfection but living life according to your terms what makes you happy what makes you joyful you know all those kind of things that you can add to your life and i always talk about taking time to find out your why you know what makes you tick and what makes you do the things that you do so today entitled i'm looking at the screen there because I finally managed to have a way where I can see myself while I'm videoing so it looks kind of amazing because before I used to film and I couldn't really see what I was doing just by chance hoping that the camera and the picture and the video would come out right but I can actually see myself now so what I'm going to try and do is make sure I don't look at the mirror that I look at you because it's a bit confusing looking at the mirror and looking at you making sure everything is okay so the video is going to be about my journey, my breast enlargement journey, and I'm going to share that with you. And also, like I've been talking about, um, kind of secretly mentioning in some of my videos that I have some exciting news to share with you. So today is going to be the announcement of that exciting news. But let's start off with my journey of my breast enlargement journey, and also how I became a brand ambassador, breast enhancer brand so I let's see yeah where should I start well really when I've had four children I'm age 37 37 this year and I had my first child at 19 and prior to having my first child I wasn't really endowed in this area I wasn't really at all and um, my sisters all had well my younger sister had bigger boobs than me my older sister had kind of similar similar size boobs you know and I grew up in a single home and my mum was such a workaholic um, because she wanted to provide for us you know as single parents do you know you work every hour God says you can make extra money to bring into the home so I didn't really spend time with my mother it was one of those things where I knew she loved me I knew she cared about me because obviously she was providing for me and anything I needed like new pairs of shoes or any um, textbooks or anything for school she always provided me birthdays we got presents you know she for a single mom she did absolutely amazing because you know I didn't really feel like I was missing my father because she provided all the things that I needed I couldn't really want for anything else so she was an amazing amazing mother to have but as I grew up and I was a teenager I didn't really know if I was pretty or you know somewhat something or someone that could like me I didn't know if I was attractive enough you know and you know as women we kind of think about that thing. am I pretty enough 
you know, whether the opposite sex find me attractive, you know, I'm sure men go through that as well. And we all do go through, because we, the one thing that we want is love and someone to love us for who we are. And so, but I never had that said to me, and my mother didn't have time, because she was a work to say, you're pretty, you know, you've got beautiful looks, or, you know, and she's proud of me, and all those kind of things. I mean, she's recently said that as, um, probably two, three years ago, as I'd grown older and had four children, but when I was young, I never got that. So in the back of my mind, I was constantly thinking, you know, am I pretty, am I attractive, you know, will someone want to date me, eventually marry me, all those kind of things. And, you know, and then as well, I didn't feel comfortable with myself. Um, you know, like I said, I wasn't happy with my appearance in the sense of um, how I looked. You know, when I was young, I did a lot of sports. So I was very fit and energetic. I had a quite a healthy lifestyle because I was doing competitions all the time. But I didn't feel like a woman. I felt more like a, a strong woman. So I had a lot of mu uh, muscles because I used to do a lot of weight. You know, my legs were quite chunky. So didn't really, really wear a lot of makeup and all those kind of things. What more to my teen years when I met my boyfriend, which is my husband now. And my husband was the first person to tell me that I was pretty. I heard that word pretty for the first time when I was 16 years old. So all through my journey from a teenage little girl up to my teenage um, teenagehood did I hear the word that I was pretty. So that's why I've got two girls now and I always tell them all the time that you're pretty, you look wonderful, I love your hair. I always try and find something um, in their physical appearance as well. I know it's not all about physical appearance but I definitely find something in their physical appearance that I can say to them that you're pretty, you've got wonderful hair, you've got lovely skin, you've got lovely nails, you've got lovely hips, bums, legs. So I'm always telling them how beautiful and how wonderful they are. And also from their heart as well, like you know, we, you know, we don't look at the outside appearance, we look at the heart as well. So I do tell them that it's not all about the outside appearance, but it does help because we can't lie to our children. We live in a day and age in the world where most of the things is about appearance and you know, men, see attraction first, then they get to know the person, then they talk to the person and then they build that relationship on that. So anyway, after I had my four children, I had my first son at 19, my daughter straight up away at 20, then at 23 I had my third child and at 24 I had my fourth child. So I stopped having children by the age I was 25, so I was still quite young pumping out children. And all of my children are breastfed for six months in total. So six months for my first child, six, for one, six months for the second, third and fourth. So you can imagine these beauties literally was overused. And after I finished breastfeeding my fourth child, I started noticing, which I didn't even have much in the first place anyway, I started noticing that my, my breast had shrunk, you know, like a prune left out on the side, it kind of like was squidgy you know I didn't have big breasts before but it had a, some kind of volume and some kind of shape but it was just really squashed and I naturally thought after having children that my breast would just go back to its natural self but it never did and I didn't get depressed straight away because I was too busy raising children you just don't have time to worry about yourself you're being a mum you're being a wife you know taking care of home dropping them at school making sure they have their lunch you know, making sure that you show them love, make sure you're looking after them. So I didn't really have time for myself. So I didn't have time to be depressed about my boobs because I just didn't have the time. But as the children got older and when I kept finding out that I was stuffing socks down my bra, you know, like trying to wear two bras that were really padded, I started getting to the, press, to the place where I was getting depressed because I was, I, was feeling, I was feeling kind of like fake that it wasn't really me but for some reason I just couldn't walk down the street without having you know my boobs looking good and um, so I went through my journey like I mentioned in my other videos getting involved in religion and all those kind of things doing and living my life not the way I wanted to live then I came out of that whole scenery that whole friendships that whole friendship group and I started a whole new life for myself about nine years ago and that newfound freedom kind of made me more confident with myself, I started dressing differently, 
um, putting makeup on in a different way and just feeling confident about myself. I, I really thought I was living my, living my life and doing the things I wanted to do. And, but I was still feeling like depressed and discouraged with the whole scenario of this thing with my breast. So I said to myself, I'm going to have to have an operation. I'm going to have to get my breast enlarged and get some implants put into my breast because I just don't feel a whole woman without having some, <laughs> some volume in here. So I started doing some research, started looking online, just trying to find the best way, how much it's going to cost for me to do, is there going to be any side effects to having an operation done on my breast, you know, all the kind of things that you hear about the negative news, the good news, the bad news about breast enlargement. And I did that for about a year and a half, just researching, 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 and as well feeling depressed. I had a lot of appointments with Harley Street um, surgery. I went down there a couple of times and saw the surgeon and they talked about different kinds of um, breast um, enlargement operations I could do. Obviously the, the silicon one, which everyone does. I know there's one silicon thing, the thing that they put in your breast that had a really bad press because it was causing cancer and people had to travel to France and Germany and Europe to kind of get them taken out. And the other one is another one where it used, you used to put it in and it bloated with you, got bigger and bigger. Um, so I know a couple of them they stopped um, producing and a lot of women didn't use them. But there were still some uh, products out there, silicon products that you could still use. So I wanted to find the right one. And I came across another one where they take your fat from your legs, your bum, your tummy, anywhere that you've got excess fat. And then they would um, suck that fat back into your boobs. I actually watched a, a video of a lady going through the journey and I thought, that seems a bit more something that I want to do because I'm getting fat from my body, you know, different parts of my body and I'm going to be putting it back into my, into my breast because I didn't really want anything that was foreign to my body. And I know a lot of people that have done breast enlargement um, operations and sur um, surgery haven't had any problems and they've had good reports with their surgery. So I know it's not for everyone and also this is my review and I'm just talking about my journey of um, breast enlargement and all this kind of thing. So I know it does work for some, but I was still having some kind of negative thoughts because once I've done it, I have to live with the consequences and I was just a bit nervous. But I was getting depressed constantly. Didn't matter if I went out and did a shopping spree, bought myself some new clothes, you know, treated myself. I was really bad, you know, and I think once I started the journey of depression, it just got worse and worse and worse. And, like I mentioned, I talk a lot about being positive, you know, living your life the way you want it, you want to have it, you know, enjoying your life. And I wasn't enjoying my life, you know. And I really, the reason why I share all these things with you now and I do it all through my social media is because I've been through that journey of not living the life that I want to live. And now I see the difference when I'm living the life that I'm living now and the life that I had before. I truly know that the life I had before wasn't the life I wanted to have. So I want to share with you this exciting news. So what happened was I went through about a year and a half of just researching the right operation to do. And I just thought, could there be a product that could actually help me rather than um, going through the operation because I was really scared that I was going to have cancer. I had this fearful feeling I was going to get cancer through going through a breast enlargement operation, which is not true. You know, I've not read anything where you can get cancer from it, but something in the back of my mind just made me feel uncomfortable. I went on to Google as you did and I started researching breast, breast enhancement, breast enlargement, all this kind of stuff. And I came across this YouTube video of this product, this product called Perfect Sleep. This one here, and if you can see that, there, perfect C. And this product saved my life and saved my marriage. I found this product on YouTube. I watched the testimonies and the reviews of certain people that have been using the perfect C, and then I thought I'm going to do more research on it. And I went again onto Google and I researched so much, so much research. I think I did about five months research before I actually bought the product and used it. 
I've been using the product for over a year now, a year and two months I've been using this product and it really has worked. So I was, um, I used to wear bra size of probably, it was on the upper B, around about 26B or something like that. Um, I really wasn't a 26B, I was really stuffing all the all socks, you literally stuff, stuff socks down my own bra. So after a year and a half, I'm a 36, I'm a 36C, as you can see. I'm probably a bit, bit bigger, but I think I'm a 36C. I have to weigh myself, measure myself again. Like all this is actually my, all, all this is actually my boobs. They're mine, they're not padded, this is all mine. As you can see there, I'll get it around, no it's mine. <laughs> so these are mine, my beauties. I'm so, so amazed how this wonderful product here has given me my confidence back. I feel so loved, I feel like, I mean, this has actually been amazing. I mean, my husband was happy with the way I was before, obviously. But it was me that didn't feel comfortable with myself. And after taking the perfect seat for now, um, 12, 13, 14 months now, I'm gone from a 24 to 26 B to 36 to a 38 C. So I'm actually a C cup now, 36 to 38 C cup, when I was a 24 to 26 B. So it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to talk a little bit about perfect C and how I became a brand ambassador for Perfect C. So it comes in a little tub like this. You've got 90 capsules in each tub. And in each box, like this Perfect C, you have three of these in one of these. So three of these will last you um, three months because 90 capsules last you a month. So this lasts you a month and you have three of these in this, so this will last you three months because they suggest perfectly suggests that you take it for three months before you see any results. Now, I've got to make a disclaimer here because obviously for health issues, this is what worked for me. Now, I can't guarantee that Perfect C will work for everyone. Now, I've got to make sure that I make that disclaimer. Perfect C worked for me, and I've used it for 14 months now, and it really, really works. But I can't guarantee that it's going to work for you because it's a natural organic product. There's no chemicals in it whatsoever. It's not a product where, you know, you take it and you can get the same results for everyone. Everyone has different results from Perfect C. If you go online and look at the reviews on the Perfect C, watch um, YouTube videos on it, you see a lot of people have different results on Perfect C. Now, you know, they suggest that you take it for six months and then after that six months, you can stop if you want. I bought a, a six month batch the first time and I used it for six months and I started seeing results within 30 days in the sense that my boobs were feeling, you know when you have your, peer, your period and you, you feel kind of like swollen in your boobs or when you're pregnant and you, your milk is starting to come. I felt that kind of feeling, I haven't felt that for ages. Even though I was having a period, I didn't feel that swollenness in my breast. And after I'd taken Perfect C for a month, so I took 90 capsules of this for a month, I started feeling the difference in my breast. I know in the time of the month, you get bigger in the time of the month as well, but for me, I, I, I could see the difference in the um, feeling I was feeling and also the um, my boobs were a bit more harder. So. I take, it says on the pack here that you should take three a day. Now when I first started the first um, 90 days, yes 90 days, I took literally exactly what they said here, three. But then I wanted to speed up the um, results, so I, in my mind I thought maybe I should take some more. And I wanted to research to make sure that I could take some more. And I think I contacted the um, company and said, yeah, you can take a maximum of six and it would work for you. So let me show you what it looks like inside, so you can see. So it comes, let me put this down. So it comes in a capsule like this, if you can see that, move back here. And you get 90 of these in the Purpose C tub. And I 
like I said at the beginning, I took three a day of these, and you take each capsule, obviously three capsules, with water. Now you can take it either before food, after food, before you go to bed, it's totally up to you when you take it. The results don't change any time you take it. It's not like, oh, if I take it in the morning, it's going to work better. If I take it in the afternoon, the evening, it's going to work better. It really doesn't matter. It's the amount that you take for the, a long period of time. So I was taking three of this at the beginning, a day with a huge amount of water. I was probably drinking a litre and a, a litre and a half a day of water, which obviously going to the toilet. But um, it says drink water. And I, when I read a lot of the reviews, a lot of people said that it works better with a with um, a huge amount of water. The more consumptions of water you're drinking, the better the outcome will be. And so obviously I went straight and I was just drinking water. I was a drinker of water anyway, but I was drinking water, 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 water all the time. And so after 90 days, I started taking um, six capsules a day of this. And obviously I saw an improvement in my breasts and you know I'm going to show you some pictures so hopefully as I'm doing this video you can see a before and after picture of what my breast looked like before I was taking perfect sleep and what my breast looks like now so I've got some pictures luckily I kept some pictures because my husband loves taking pictures now <laughs> before and after so hopefully you're getting to see that so you can see what I looked like now again this has worked for me I can't guarantee it's going to work for you it is all natural products all the products in here are natural but please consult your doctor or anyone that you can talk to before you take it if you're ill if you're sick I don't want you to say it was perfect see but please consult your doctors take the take the um talk to your doctors and ask if you can use it. Now you can't have this, you can't have perfect C if you're breastfeeding. They don't suggest that you have it when you're breastfeeding. It's for maybe two months, three months after you're breastfeeding, when you finish breastfeeding, then you can take perfect C. So mothers, if you're breastfeeding a baby, you cannot have perfect C. And I tend to find that from the reviews as well that I read, a lot of women over 40 had a slower result with perfect C. Um, women between 22 and 40 had the highest result with perfect C. So if you're over 40, obviously you can use it, but it might take you longer to start seeing results. Also, there are some people between the age of 20 and 40 that think have a quick result. Um, as they wanted to you know again it's all depending on what resort you want to get from the perfect C for me I knew it was an alternative for me to not have an operation so I was willing for it to give it some time to work I didn't really have a set um, deadline I didn't set any like deadlines between you know three months six months I just thought I'm going to take it and try because I already spent over a year trying to look for products and look for the right operation to enlarge my breasts so I was willing to kind of take my time and you know the amount that it cost for this compared to me having an operation is a huge amount of difference and obviously the side effects as well I feel outweighed me having an operation than trying some natural products and see if it works so I'm so glad that I did and 
like I said, it's totally, totally um, changed my life. It's changed my confidence. You know, I'm much more happier with myself. And so I've been taking it now for about, as I said, 14 months, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And the exciting news is that after I've taken it for a while, I thought, gosh, I better see if I can contact them to see if I can do a review about the perfect C. You know, because I've got a magazine that I have that's called Richable Magazine with quite a few subscribers. So I thought maybe it'd be good if I start sharing this product with other people because I didn't want to start sharing it with anyone until I use it for a while and you know kind of know the background of the company and who the company is all about and who runs the company as a CEO but I like to do that because I don't want to give a review if I really don't understand the history and the journey of the company so I contacted the company and long behold I looked at the back and the um, address is kind of like not far from me it's probably about 45 minutes from where I live and I couldn't believe that it was actually made near me so I thought I'll contact the CEO or I'll speak to the secretary see if I can have an appointment with um, um, the CEO to have an interview so I can put it on um, Richable Magazine and talk about because I have a, a page called um, Up and Personal so I thought I'll just interview he or she and put it on the, um, the magazine so obviously I spoke to um, Stephen's um, wife and she said that I'll be able to speak to him so it was quite amazing. I spoke to Stephen, the CEO of Perfect um, C, and then we met up and uh, met him down at his um, office. Now I don't really, I didn't really know what I was expecting um, to meet. Really, I've seen the pi a picture of Stephen already in the videos and in a couple of the pictures, so I kind of knew what it looked like. So anyway, I met Stephen, and he is such a laugh. I mean, he he is quite he's, he's mature. But he's got a heart of a young, young, young man. So he had these bright green trainers on. Um, I think it was green trousers. I might be wrong, but all I can remember was he looked so young and so trained. I was quite surprised. So obviously we sat down and I told him my um, journey of um, having perfect C and how um, how it really worked for me. And um, he just sat there and listened. And he's after he listened to my story, he um, asked me if I wanted to be a brand ambassador. And I, I really was kind of shocked because um, really I wanted to, I wanted to go to kind of find more about the company and just do like a uh, interview and put it onto my magazine. So I had to work uh, with answer him straight straight away. But I'm a businesswoman as as you know, so I don't miss up miss out on opportunities. I take every opportunity that comes my way. And so um, I had a couple of days and then I decided, yeah, I'm going to go for it because I know this product really works and I think it needs to be in the hand of every woman because you know what, not, like I said, not everyone that has an operation things go bad for breast enlargement, but there's some people that have had operations where they've had um, side effects and they've had problems after they've gone down on the knife and cut themselves. So Perfect C kind of eliminates all those kind of things because again, it's just organic capsules that you take there's no chemicals or anything in there it's just simple natural I'm trying to go and hold it up if I can I'm shaking and I'm shaking but it's just simple capsules like that and you pop it in your mind in your mouth not in your mind in your mouth again I can't make any claims that it's going to work for you again because obviously I can't do that I'm just giving you a review of how it's worked for me, how the difference that you can see. If you've seen my before and after pictures, you will see the difference. If I turn here, you can see it's absolutely totally, totally different. So, Perfect C really works. And I'm so excited to be able to be a brand ambassador for Perfect C. And I'm looking forward to the journey that we're going to have. I wanted to wait before I come back from my um, trip because I'm going away in three days so I thought I'd do some kind of video on it or you know do get a uh, photo shoot done and all those kind of things but I'm too excited so I thought I'm just going to share it with you like a brief story of how I came, became a brand ambassador for Perfect C and also I'm going to really really start promoting this product because it really really does work. Now a lot of people will be thinking though is there any side effects I'm going to quickly talk about if I've got any side effects from taking Perfect C, again, I didn't have any side effects. The only side effects I had were positive. I was a bit nervous actually when I first had the side effects because I, my, my boobs started getting harder and it was kind of tingling, a bit itchy. 
You know when that kind of feeling when you're, you're beautiful, kind of tense before your period, your time of the month comes? Or when, so I've had both things, when my period, the time of the month, and my um, being pregnant. So I've had those two kind of feelings. So I know very well, having four children, what that feeling feels like when you are filling up with the milk for um, breastfeeding and also when you're pregnant. So I know how that feels. It to it's totally, totally um, tense and it hardens. And like I said, after having the four children and I stopped breastfeeding for a year, I wasn't feeling that in my period. I wasn't having that tenseness and that soreness in the time of the month. So it was completely, completely different. Yeah, I didn't see any side effects with the um, perfect C. The only side effects, like I mentioned, was the tenseness in my breast after taking it for 90 days. And also the taste of perfect C because it's quite an unusual taste. You're not you're not sure what it's going to taste like, but it tastes kind of like, not like a medicine, but it tastes kind of like organically. That's not how I can really explain organically. So it tastes like it's an organic product. Um, obviously, it's in a capsule, so you have the kind of capsule case, case around the actual product itself. But I didn't um, see if I, I didn't think I put any weight on. Obviously, I'm drinking a lot of water, so I'm going to the toilet a lot. Um, I was weighing myself and I don't think I put on any weight. I did notice that my skin became more softer, my skin had a bit more glow and when I was doing the research a lot of people made a, a mention to that, that um, Perfect C helped with their skin as well, that the skin got um, nicer and better and I did notice that as well. So I didn't have any bad side effects from Perfect C but again I can't make any claims that you are not going to have any side effects because you've got to make sure, make sure that you do your own research, you've got to speak to your doctors if you have any illnesses, if you're on medication, speak to your doctors if you can have perfect C with your medication. So I can't make any claims that's going to work for you, but I'm just telling you my exciting news to be a brand ambassador and tell you my story of um, perfect C. Because I'm brand ambassador, I can offer special discounts to anyone that wants to try the perfect C. So if you want to try the Perfect C, you have to buy it in this box here. Like I said, in this box, you have three of these in this box because they do suggest that you try it for three months period because you're not going to see any difference. Really, it starts kicking in after 90 days. You know, after two months, the, the Perfect C for me started working. So anyway, I bought six months supply of Perfect C when I started, so I was going to go for the six months anyway. But really, I started seeing results after two months, so I just carried on the journey for six months. And again, when I had it for six months, I bought another six months pack. So again, it, you have to try out for yourself. So if you want to get um, the Perfect C for three month um, session, I'm going to leave some descriptions below the video and my personal number where you can contact me as well. If you don't want Perfect C but know anyone that's interested in Perfect C and wants to know my journey and the story, again, I'm going to leave my, my personal details that you can contact me as well. Because, you know, us as women, we try so many things to make ourselves pretty, to make ourselves happy, you know. We get so much bombarded with media and some of us make the wrong mistakes and we go and have an operation. I mean, I'm not... Um, cussing anyone or saying that it's bad to have an operation if you've had a boob job, if you've had facial operation, because again, it's your life and basically you can do what you want. I don't have the right to say what's right or wrong in your life. So, but I know for me that when I went through my journey of Perfect C, really going down the road and thinking I, was, I wanted to have an operation, because I didn't really think there was anything out there that will allow me to look the way I'm looking now and have the um, size, you know, of um, breast, boobs, breast, whatever you want to call it, that I have now. So I really thought the only way for me to have this kind of breast was really to have an operation. So I'm so, so thankful to the universe and the creator for just bumping bumping me to a perfect seat. And I really do believe when you visualize something, when you really want something really badly, the universe just puts everything together to make sure that you find the thing that you're looking for. And I really do believe that this is the thing that's really, I would say for me definitely, personally, has really changed my life. I feel so much confident in myself when I put clothes on. I just feel great. 
I really, really do feel great and I wanted to share that with you. You know, I've been using it for 14 months. I haven't told anyone about it, not even my family, because I wanted to make sure that it was a good product for people. And I absolutely love it. It's breast enhancement, perfect sleep. And absolutely, absolutely lovely. So in this box is 270 capsules. And so this is a three month supply. Okay, so if you want to know more information about the perfect seat, I'm going to leave my personal number, my personal email. Please do contact me. I would love to hear from you. Or if you've had some success stories with perfect seat, then please also let me know as well. Send me a message and I will get in touch with you. And I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to the future to be working with Perfect Sea as a brand ambassador. I don't know what the future is going to hold, but I hope that you join me on my journey of just living my life and living my dreams. And I really hope that you are living your life and you are living your dreams. Thank you so much for all your love. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you like this video and you want to share it, Share, 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 share as much as you want. I want everyone to know about perfect, especially every woman that's been feeling down about themselves, not feeling confident, or they're thinking of having an operation and um, to have um, breast enlargements done. You know, share this video with them so they maybe have another opportunity, another way that they could go that they didn't know existed. You know, before they had that, because I didn't know perfect see what anything existed that can make me go you know, three cup, two cup sites more than what I was, you know. And again, Perfect C doesn't go down. Even if you stop taking Perfect C, if you did the six months trial, the three months trial, they do say to try and do the three months trial. But some of you, again, might have to go the six months trial. But if you stopped after six months, you know, your boobs doesn't all of, all, all of a sudden just start shrinking and going down. It stays the same. Now, my boobs actually gets bigger. It does actually get bigger and tenser every month after my six months. So I'm constantly just using. I might, I don't know how long I'm going to use it for, but I'm just feeling great right now and I'm loving it and enjoying it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.